Hey there everybody, it's Mike Felicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Apollo, a game inspired by NASA moon missions from Buffalo Games. Two to five players, says includes actual NASA mis mission information. A cooperative moon mission game, you are go for launch. Play as astronauts and play as mission control, work together to complete the mission. All right, so says two to five players, 30 to 60 minutes. And while you are playing cooperatively, cooperatively, it looks like one player needs to play as mission control and everyone else would be playing as the astronauts. One giant leap for mankind. So there's our Gemini mission board. Here are our instructions. So let's take a look at those. Our list of components. Mission objective. Choose your mission. You can either choose the Gemini mission or the Apollo mission. Looks like the Gemini mission is the starter mission to master the mechanics. And then once you've done that, you go to the Apollo mission. The Gemini mission says about 30 minutes, 45 to 60 for the Apollo mission. Here we've got set up for both the mission control player and for the astronauts. The goal of the game is to complete each stage of the mission one at a time and in order. Each stage must be completed before the pawn passes its space on the game board and complete the required number of experiments before the pawn reaches the last space on the game board, returning to Earth or Splashdown. So, you've got two phases. You've got a roll phase and an action phase, and it goes into more detail for all of those phases. And then you've got the action phase. You've got act astronaut actions, and then mission control actions. You've got the mission control board, system crisis, crisis puzzles, and then the game ends. It can end in one of two ways, success or failure. The team wins when each stage of the mission is completed one at a time, one at a time and in order. The required number of experiments are done. Or the team loses if they don't complete a stage before the pawn passes its, its space. The flight control system readings are below four when passing a stage on the game board. Or if the required number of experiments are not completed before returning to Earth. You can adjust the difficulty here as well. And your flight stage card reference. All right. This appears to be the yep, mission control board. Okay, this is thick cardboard. Very nice quality components, it looks like there. Here are our crisis puzzles. Single-sided crisis puzzles. Looks like there are four of these. Here's the mission control board. Looks like there are sliders that are gonna go here. Here is the Apollo board. We saw the Gemini board when we first opened the box. This is a long single-sided board. You can see you're orbiting the moon there and coming back, landing on the moon actually, and then coming back. At least that's the hope. Flight control board. A number of different tokens here. Looks like we've got some plus minus tokens, some calm tokens, and those crisis puzzle pieces, our flight damage board, our starter mission packs. I'm not going to open these right now, but these are going to have the specific cards. And you can see this kind of has that space ice cream, that space food feel. I'm sure that was intentional. We've got our custom dice here. Black and yellow dice. They're D6s. They have a nice look to them and they are, while they are standard D6s, they at least have a bit of a different look to them. Here are some crisis cards it looks like. Right. Here are some crisis mission control affected in these cards. Astronauts affected. So it looks like either side can be affected by these crises and the different areas, power distribution, comms, life support. All right. We have a very large turn token here. 
We've got some large ponds. These are wooden ponds and some bases, it looks like. And then finally, looks like we've got some alert flags. Show that your comms are down. I think you clip this on your board and you, if you lift it up, it means that your comms are down. Your, I believe there's limited communication in this game and this is one of the ways you can communicate if you are mission control. All right, well, I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what's in fa found inside the box of Apollo. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.